Yeah, Shannon, Adam Fry's family tells me he was a dedicated driver for Butler Transit and that he was worried about the virus. He always wore his mask, but they say he had not yet been vaccinated when he became one of 10 of Butler Transit's drivers who contracted COVID. Adam is one person that definitely did not deserve to go at 38 years old. Adam Fry would have turned 39 this Saturday. His sister Jamie Gross says one week ago he started feeling sick along with all but two of Butler Transit's drivers. He started not feeling good on a Monday. He went to work Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Called off on Thursday and Friday and to know Adam is to know that Adam did not call off work. He knew they were shorthanded, so he went in on Saturday anyway. He was messaging me and calling me throughout the day. Halfway through the day, he said he couldn't make it through the day. Gross says her brother tested positive for COVID-19 the following day. Monday, he was intubated by 10.45 p.m. So within a week, it was already too late. He never came back. She says just days earlier, he was becoming concerned about driving. He had let me know that they had took the uh, plexiglass down, that passengers were getting on without masks, even though they were considering it being mandated. But Gross says he kept working, wearing his mask, and she says she and her brother were planning to be vaccinated together when he got sick. He had a whole lifetime. It's just not right. Butler Transit replied to my request for a comment, sending a statement just about an hour ago, which reads in part, all drivers are employed by a third party contractor who provides fixed route services to BTA. Mr. Fry, along with all other drivers of BTA buses, was an employee of MV Transportation. In a statement from MV Transportation, they write, we require all employees to wear masks throughout their workday and along with Butler Transit support the FTA's mask mandate on all public transportation, providing riders with masks when they do not have their own. Butler Transit has not been operating their buses since their employees became sick, but they do plan to restart some of their routes tomorrow. Live in Butler County, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.